Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. <clears throat> Today is uh, January 20th, I believe. Yes, and uh, for some unknown reason, the Rams just beat the Saints in overtime. I was really rooting for the Saints to win and possibly meet with the uh, Patriots in the Super Bowl and beat them. I'm not a Patriots fan whatsoever. But anyway, off the subject. Main thing for today, this evening, is that I have not been in front of the camera talking to you guys in quite some time. Um, I want to get back into that and going over details about my fishing experiences and Rosmer arsenals, techniques, lures, uh, terminal tackle, line, you name it. That's what I want to get back into uh, for the 2019 season. So, uh, today's video is going to be based off of uh, Renner cranking and my cranking setup that I just put together. Uh, a reel that I've had before, well, still have obviously, uh, just paired it up with a different rod. And so let's get right into it. That rod is going to be, guys, the, the Berkeley. Berkeley Shock Lightning, Berkeley Lightning Shock. And this is a very inexpensive uh, rod. As you can see, it's, it's not that big. It's only a seven foot, seven foot medium. And I got that solely because um, I like the shorter length rods when it comes to cranking. Uh, and I'm not talking about cranking deep, I'm talking about mid-level and shallow, shallow water. Um, and it's a seven foot medium, moderate action rod. And I got a pair with the uh, Balzax 17, no, 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 12 pound fluorocarbon. And it's just a, a nice rod, and I think it's got it's got a lot, of, not a lot, but it's got enough backbone to, to drive those hooks home on those larger uh, bass. And if you guys are kind of on a budget and don't really want to spend a lot of money, uh, I suggest you look into some of these Berkeley rods. They're really, really, really decent. I have another one I caught my personal best on this past season. It's another Berkeley Lightning, just not like this one. This one is equipped or engineered for braided line. And, you know, some of those guys are not really made for that braided line. Not saying I would put braided line on this one, but um, this one specifically is meant for that. But I got fluorocarbon on it. But anyway. This is one of the uh, crankbaits that I picked up. This is one of the the smaller uh, body 3XTs from KVD. As you can see, I upgraded my hooks. And those are the trap and tackle hooks. I upgraded from um, the standard. Let me show you. Upgraded from standard hooks, which would be these. And anybody that knows anything about KVD crankbaits. Not saying anything bad about bad about them, but those hooks you just want to, you want to change those out if you want to get into some bigger fish, and sometimes those hooks can bend out quite a bit. And so that's one of the reasons why I changed my hooks out, and I have a few more here, you know, a few more of these trap and tackle hooks that I want to change out into some of these other hard baits that I have. So that KVD three uh three XD it dives ten to twelve feet, and it's a smaller body crank. And I feel like in the winter time, you know, you want to get deep down in where those big bass might be holding that on structure or just sitting on the bottom to give them a smaller profile, you know, to eat. They might not want that big uh, 5XT or 660, you know what I'm saying? So um, there's a one, that's one of the crankbaits that I want to use for winter cranking. Another one would be the KVD 1.5 flat. Excuse the noise, I'm in my garage and there's a lot of cars going back and forth. I'm using just my GoPro to do some recording right now. I'm having some technical difficulties as far as my mic with my other uh, Hero 5 Black. Not pairing up really well, so I'm going to look into fixing that later on um, in the future. But anyway, the KVD 1.5 flat and the Chili Crawl color. Really, really nice uh, for those winter bass. In comparison, because there's a big difference between the 3XD and the 1.5 flat. You got the round body, it's smaller, but then you got the flat side here. That's going to give it that tight wiggle. On the other hand, the, uh, the 
the 3, 3XD here is going to give it more of a wider wiggle than a flat one. Not saying that it's going to work better, but I think personally that that flat side is going to get the job done when it really, really finicky and you really want, don't want to bite. And what you want to do is kind of crank it down deep and just kind of slow roll it or rocks and brush just to get that, that subtle bite that may happen. Um, and another thing, another uh, crankbait or say I'll say uh, lipless crank I would like to use, and it's not going to be on this rod. It's going to be on a seven foot three medium heavy with 17 pound four car one. And that's going to be the Bill Lewis Rattle Trap. And these come stock with the, um, what kind of hooks are these? Mustad. These are Mustad hooks. Great, great hooks. I have nothing bad to say about them, but I just prefer to upgrade to the, oh, one more. To upgrade to the trapper tackle hooks, as you can see, I just love these trapper tackle hooks. I haven't really had any bad experiences with those. I did lose some on those mustad uh, hooks recently in my last video, but I didn't put the the misses in. I put all the catches I had in there, four pound, uh, four bass, and towed out about fourteen pounds. But it was it was a pretty good day. Um, those are just some of the. The lures I would like to use, or I suggest using for anybody. You got your different colors here. You got your your bluegill here, and I want to say this is like a I forget the name of this one, but it's more like a summer color, I believe. But these natural colors here can get the job done in some of your local waters around here in North Carolina, from what I understand and, and what I know. Another one here, you got a you got a white one. It's another 3XD. It all depends on the water clarity. It all depends on what they want. And in my particular video, my last video, um, my fiance, she was throwing a, a white and no, she was throwing a chrome and black back rattle trap. And they didn't want nothing to do with it. For some reason, they just didn't, they didn't want to bite it. And all I had, I didn't have another one of these. I only had one. And all of my bites, all my fish came off of this flat side, just like the uh, 1.5 flat, the uh, rattle trap. So. Just gotta figure out what they want and how they want it. So guys, I don't wanna hold you up, just wanna get back in tune with you guys and get back in front of the camera and talk to you about certain things. And uh, it's gonna be a good season, it's 2019. Good things looking ahead for uh, for this channel. So guys, um, in the description, I will leave some of these lures that you can go check out. Most of these I got off of Top Warehouse. And uh, trap attack of hooks, definitely, definitely look into those if you're interested in something different, something new. These are pretty sturdy hooks and they don't bend out. Not at all. But anyway, guys, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.